Hi there. Welcome to Barstool's Rundown. With me, John Rich. Pat. You don't know my last name. I do know your last name. <laughs> What's the date? What's the date? Uh, the date today is April 2nd. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> we start that from the top. Two one. Hi there. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, hot start, Billy. Hot start. Right, Let's go. go. Hi there, and welcome to the rundown. I'm here with John Rich, Pat McClough. <laughs> Not my last name. <laughs> How do you pronounce your last name? McAfee. No, it's McAuliffe. 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 I got it was decently there, right? Kind of there, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's not we haven't worked correct. together for six years, but it's cool. All right, I, I didn't want to call it out and about Pat. <laughs> yeah, moving on. <laughs> All right, let's just start from the top. Hi there, welcome to the rundown. This is John Rich. We're here with Pat, and uh, OJ Simpson is dead. <laughs> I hate nailed it to be the one to inform you, but the juice is no longer loose. He is in his final resting place. Um, separating the art from the artist, uh, he had some amazing career stats. He had a Heisman Trophy at USC, uh, led the NFL in rushing for four years from 1972 to 76, named both all AFC and all pro five straight years from 1972 to 1976, holds the NFL single season yards per game record with 143.1. He was a Hollywood star as well. Uh, he started in the Naked Gun, a uh, fantasy football enthusiast. Not convicted of murdering his ex-wife, Nicole Brown, and friend, Ronald Goldman. I feel like none of that was his claim to fame. Yeah, and he... Yeah. Like, we're missing... I wasn't sure how much of like that you'd actually... A big, like, part of OJ's legacy here. Well, I said he was convicted of not murdering, right. or not convicted the of... The author murder. of If I Did It, Confessions of the Killer, spent nine years in jail for armed robbery and kidnapping, attempted to steal back his own memorabilia. Um, yeah, so, Caitlyn Jenner wasn't a fan, uh, tweeted, good riddance. Hashtag OJ Simpson. Um, you know, if the glove fits, you must acquit. Might not work on St. Peter. Um, his I don't get that. His judgment day is today. St. Peter oh. at the gates of heaven decides whether you come in or not. Okay. I didn't know you were a religion guy. Proud Catholic. Is that a <laughs> is that a part of your platform? Uh, it's just something about me that it's on. What's your, Bible Bible com. What's your favorite Bible verse? John 3.16. Got him. Good answer. Okay. Um, but yeah, O.J. Simpson, he died. I, 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 I tweeted this, but this is like such a weird situation because almost never is somebody like a celebrity as big as O.J. Simpson going to die and you just get free reign to make whatever jokes you want. Like you can say the meanest shit about O.J. Simpson right now the on the internet and nobody cares. He it's did? interesting. The thing is, he just, like, he, he didn't go, like, I was wrongfully accused, like, you know, my life's been ruined. It was kind of like, if I did it, book deal. Like, you know. Yeah, I think that OJ, well, I really don't have anything to say on this, honestly. I mean, okay, OJ. You don't have any OJ? Had, I mean, there was, there was a thing that said, like, his last few friends went there. I would have liked to see a deathbed confession, like, if he was lucid enough yeah. at the end. Oh, yeah. Because he had cancer, right? And at the end, you know, depending on how you're going, you can be kind of, like, loopy and fucked up. It would have been great. Oh. I think a good button on his legacy oh. if at the very end he had been like, all right, I did it. I killed them. <laughs> dead and he could have that would have right? been a, that would have because been his awesome. friends were next to him but if he said it to his friends his friends aren't going to be the people to leak it out no they're going to do the a world. book deal oj's last words i wonder what it was do you think he actually it was his confessed son. it i think his son did it you know he has five kids i looked that up today yeah. oj simpson has five kids and one of them was is chloe kardashian uh mm -hmm. maybe um his one son was trained in hand-to-hand -hand knife combat and would routinely have knives around and uh, he freaked out when um, when he found out his dad slaughtered two people. With no, when he found out that uh, Anna Nicole Smith didn't go to his restaurant that night. That's her name. Nicole Brown. Anna, Anna Nicole, Nicole Smith. Smith. Close. Nicole Brown. You were here. Nicole Brown. Uh, that might be. If your dad is O.J. Simpson, let's just uh, let's back up. That... If your dad is a convict, is a killer like OJ allegedly was. And like yeah. everyone knows he did it, but he didn't. Do you maintain a relationship with your father or do you write him off? If he did it, I mean... Like same circumstance. Like everyone knows he killed someone. He got off on a huge trial 
like do you maintain a like sneaky relationship or are you like oh. i would make i would maintain some kind of relationship i wouldn't necessarily defend you him you can't choose but, your dad yeah i, I would yeah. i would still talk to my dad i wonder if he had money when he died to oj no dude that's why he was robbing people for his own memory yeah but i think but was they he said that he cameo? did that because it was like he wanted like subconsciously he felt like he needed to serve time so he like went and committed yeah. a crime i don't know i mean it's almost i think his son did it um and he covered it up his son um, was a bait his son no his son look it up it's a it's a crazy account his son was a teen like 18 years older like early 20s uh, was on tons of and like he he's schizophrenic or has some sort of mental Damn. illness, and uh, he OJ. This is a, we're looking. You're getting this off a Reddit thread. That's where you get information. Yeah, his son Jason. So he was a sous chef, and Nicole Brown didn't go to his restaurant that night. He would have explosive freakouts, and OJ may have gotten him to made it look like it was him so that they tried him as opposed to his son and is oj really just a really good dad who sacrificed no. his own image to save his son <laughs> have you ever had a child you don't know what you'd like to go to so you think that despite the overwhelming physical and circumstantial evidence hey think about the dna the dna matched up to oj guess why it was his son's i don't know if we're trying to like i don't is know that how like DNA indicating works? oj saying. on his deathbed we don't know, but like him have, killing him is just as much of a, you know, non. He didn't get convicted of it. This theory is just as corroborated with him killing him. I wouldn't cover up a murder for my kid. My kid killed someone. Like you're on your own, dude. I'd obviously yeah. like help them, but I wouldn't like go to jail for my kid. Yeah, Would you but I think he knew he wouldn't go to jail for his kid because he had the evidence to show he did. Because he had the the uh, Robert Kardashian brain trust. You know, Dr. Yeah. Phil worked on that trial. What? On which side? On the Kardashian side, on the uh, oh, on whatever the side? side. Yeah, yeah. They probably gave him tons of move TV deals to get his silence. I wonder why Kate. I wonder why Caitlyn Jenner tweeted that. Like, what's her gripe with them? She's Is, connected Kardashian. Well, OJ was probably like, wasn't he hooking up with uh, Top Dog Kardashian? Chloe? No, the mom. Oh, I don't Chris. Call it. Chris. Yeah. Yeah, you know who they are. You can name them. I, I can see them, but I yeah. forgot her name. All right. Huh. Pop dog. Heaven or hell for OJ to put a button on it? Hell. Yeah, hell. Yeah. Definitely hell. I mean, I, I'm surprised it's not a bigger... It is a pretty big deal. I mean, it's the biggest... It's the biggest story going on right now. Yeah. I want to see what, like, the nightly news will do about it. Do they... Does ESPN play OJ highlights and say RIP? That's a good question. Did you think... I haven't watched ESPN. Did they play any OJ highlights today? I'm sure. The thing, I thought they did. If OJ had just shot somebody instead of brutally knife murdered them, like, you know, a lot of people have killed men and it's been like, ah. Oh. <laughs> a lot of people have killed men. Like who? I don't know. Uh, Alec Baldwin. That was a woman. <laughs> anyway. I feel like there's a cowboy romanticism about shooting a man and being like, in the heat of the moment, I killed a man and I did. Yeah, if it's in, like, if it's in self-defense and you're like. If you're Johnny Cash later. Yeah, I guess <laughs> Johnny <laughs> I guess murder can be romantic if it's with yeah. self-defense. But <laughs> brutal knife crime of two people. Shout, uh, Shout out. Hope they rest in peace. Or not. What? Oh, I thought you meant OJ. Okay. His victims, yes. Yes. Um, the Masters started this morning. Tea times were delayed due to rain. Defending champion John Rahm uh, and heavy favorite Scotty Scheffler are uh, all involved. And his wife could potentially go into labor. Fellas. Do you leave the Masters if your wife is giving birth? No. No, I, I don't. We're gonna have that so. problem. <laughs> you you don't want you don't want your kid like if I learned that my dad like say Scotty Scheffler was like winning the Masters after two days, mom goes into labor, I'm born. You don't want your dad to tell you. I mean, I don't want my dad to tell me that you know I could have won the Masters, well, but depends, like you distracted. It depends. Me from I think it. if it's the like first no, it'd be kid. way cooler if you just won the Masters while I was being born. That's a way cooler story. Yeah, I mean, it depends if it's the first kid. Is he like, oh, so he's a he's a heavy favorite? Yeah, no, she's got to let him. He's a big favorite. She's got to let him play. She has to let him play. She's not even really due for like, I think I said one to three weeks. How it's a long shot. Is this his first kid? No. You I, mean, I don't know. I mean, a, a good wife would say, go do your thing. You know, maybe you get your family down there instead. But, I mean, that's tough. I don't know. How much money do you win if you win the Masters? How many millions? 
That's a good question. I have yeah, no that's idea. That's college for the kid. That's yeah. school for the kid. I mean, he's college, already got college and school. It would be better to be in the situation where it's like, oh, dad was that the master then? Oh my God, you cost your dad the masters. Yeah. I don't want that on my conscience. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that on my conscience. Like, I rather, there you go. The situation. Well, that's not a lot of money. Oh, 15 million. What is that? 15 is the pool. 3.2. John Rahm is 3.2. I feel like it should be the master. These golfers should be getting paid way more to win the master. They get, they get paid $2 million. The live tour they're... pays them a million dollars. How a much week? is one ad on the masters when they're broadcasting it? Like th- these guys only get paid three point two million dollars for the entire to win it. That's oh, so four days of work, though. Yeah, but still, doesn't it seem backwards. They play Fair a lot enough. of tournaments. They win millions of dollars a lot. I don't get golf in general, and I can't believe they get paid so much money for all this stuff. You think that's a three point two million is a lot? I mean, how much is it to sponsor like the eighteenth hole, like on the back? That's got to be a million. true. I mean, I just I haven't started playing golf. I don't I don't get it. Maybe one day. I if would. I were them, I'd all go to Saudi Arabia. Get the real money. What that is that golf? Oh no, it's not. Um, but I yeah, Kirk and Riggs are betting on this, right? Aren't they giving their picks again? They're yeah. doing a show. Mm-hmm. Shout out Vern Lundquist. It's his last Masters. It's his fortieth Masters. Oh wow. Yeah. Whoa. So golf. Yeah. Ever see the Masters concession prices? Those are always fun. Yeah. Pimento cheese sandwich, dollar fifty. Why mm-hmm. are they so cheap? It's the, the million dollars to get in, I guess. Yes, it's really hard to get in. It's super expensive. Huh. Who is saying they have lifetime sure. tickets to the Masters? Riggs. Probably Walker. Just... Brandon Walker has lifetime tickets to the Masters. How? He can go whenever he wants. I think Dave said it on the Unnamed show today. Like, he can some. He has some weird, like, connect. There's a weird in where he can go whenever he wants. Which Maybe he's a wild. member. Is he a member of No, I don't know the full Does story. And Georgia I don't know if it's just, like... Uh, a rumor that keeps yeah. building on itself either but now there are rumors that walker gets t- masters tickets for free every year for every day dude is, can he sell them though or it's only for him i don't know masters is weird they probably don't allow transfers yeah, yeah. i could see that you could get in like oh a lifetime ticket probably is cheaper for that like you know because they're not going to resell it people are going to make tons of money off it do they have to pay it or is it free i don't i think they're just they just give it to them yeah right? that's the that's the story i'm told Allegedly, uh, that's, that doesn't that seem good. Cool. Old boy network down there. I might call bullshit on that. Yeah. So Scotty Scheffler, do you think he's gonna win? No. Do you think he's gonna get that baby? Like it's the 18th hole, baby's coming, and he wins, and then he rushes off, and he like stiff arms reporters to get to his wife. That'd be cool. Be pretty cool. Baby is good karma though. Like when yeah. athletes have babies, always perform well. So we'll see. Uh. Shohei Otani's best friend, interpreter, to plead guilty. Ipe Mizuhara. There it is. Yeah, he's pleading. Did we, did we nail that? Oh, t- no idea. Otani's former interpreter, uh, best friend, to plead guilty and connect with the theft of millions of dollars of Otani's money. Shohei Otani's been interviewed by the uh, Fed as well, but expected by the feds as well, but expected to be fully exonerated, meaning he has to. No clue his interpreter was taking millions of dollars from him. Ipe had originally claimed Otani knew about the money, but sources say the feds have concluded that he was lying. Otani was completely in the dark about Ipe's gambling debt. Uh, Otani absolutely knew. So how much? Yeah. So what was his contract? Like his recent one that was like the biggest contract ever. It was like pushing it was like, a billion. It was like wasn't pushing it? a billion dollars, right? So like yeah. back in the day in like Vegas when it was controlled by the mob, they just accounted for the scam. They're like, we're gonna make this. We have this much money yeah. coming in. We're gonna make this much money. This is what they're gonna skim off the top. I think if you're an athlete who's making who has a seven hundred million dollar contract, even if it's your friends, even if it's your family, you have to account for the scam like a little bit you know what i mean because if he's only stealing a couple million bucks off the 700 million oh, i don't think that's that big of a deal you're, you're saying that it's his skim that no his no no he's skimming off yeah his track yeah his buddy is skimming agent. off of just like you know all the money that he has yeah so, but wouldn't that be in his contract like an agent gets three percent of the deal yeah but the but he doesn't like he's not in control of his own money so like he doesn't know yeah apparently this ipe guy is just in control of his money so he changed Which bank settings, I guess, so that way everything would go through him, right? Rather than through Otani. So Otani didn't yeah. know. And so Shohei wouldn't get notifications. Yeah. Well, imagine he's got $700 million, he's getting a Bank of America notification on his phone. Yeah. I still feel like Otani had an idea, but since, I mean, you know, they're paying like an illegal bookmaker, I think it's an illegal bookmaker. Right. Like any 
any of him knowing would probably be like a massive Dude, fine or if, something or if, like fuck him over with the MLB. Bro, so he's just saying, oh, I had no idea. I mean, his interpreter is de facto fall guy. If he was just like, yo, let's set it up. So if they find me out for illegally gambling, my fall guy is there. You switch all the settings. So it's all you. You'll take the fall. We'll be fine. You'll probably get sent to prison in I ah, know that he's going to prison in America. That's the entire thing, right? They think Otani's like involved in the gambling, essentially. Yeah, it's another. There's, there's, just, there's just, there's no way. There's no way a guy who makes this much money is gonna get like caught up in this gambling shit. You'd have to be. We'll have to bleep this. Mm-hmm. To make that much money to get in on this gambling stuff. No, no. Seven hundred million dollars, and you're gonna bet. Like, what even moves the needle in your bank account at that point? Like, even if it's for your friend. No, dude. He. So his bookie apparently was bragging to other top clients that, yeah, Otani's my guy. Otani's on my book. Like, you want to be in my book too? Like, to get more clients. I feel like that's just like a name drop, though. But he wouldn't, would he say it if it was his interpreter pretending to gamble for Otani? Maybe. Plus, they were definitely putting in bets in Japanese to each other. So he's like, yo, put this much. And we, like, and Asians love to gamble. Mm. This is true. They do. That's not like a Bakara? fact. You ever heard of Bakara? It's a fact, right? I confirm, yeah. Thank you, yeah. The bus, the buses to Atlantic City all have... Absolutely. Slot machines. And... Chain smoking. Different graphics on them. Mm-hmm. That's a point. point. <laughs> Great point. I mean, you can say it, but... I re- What's the word for non-Western writing? Uh, far East. Hieroglyphics. They have, they have hi- writing from the Far East. On the- yes, yes. And they go right to Atlantic City. Sure. Crazy. But anyway, oh. uh, Courtney Kardashian says she pounds glasses of breast milk when sick. I agree with this. <laughs> Let's go. Vote for Billy. <laughs> no. Uh, Courtney posted an Instagram story of herself after chugging a glass of breast milk. She believes it helps fight off illnesses. Claims she used it to treat her pariasis. Psoriasis. 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 It's like like it's like eczema almost. Oh, she okay. actually was one of the first people who publicly kept her placenta and like fried it up on the oven of one of her kids. So she's been doing this weird shit for ages. She says it tastes like vanilla soy milk. Um, you ever tried a breast milk? Body, well, yes. Really? I would love to. I mean, oh no, I mean as an adult. No. No. <laughs> Willie Cologne, who used to work here, says he tried it straight from the tap. From his wife's thing, he leaned right over. He said it was really sour. I think I would try it. I would try it. Don't like bodybuilders do it. Yeah, bodybuilders. Yeah, they, so tons of bodybuilders buy it. Um, Casey like Smith tried to markets. sell me some of her breast milk, but I had to say no. Dude, I mean, apparently it gives you crazy gains. Um, <laughs> no, like because it's straight up human hormones in the milk. Like you know how everyone talks about the hormones in cattle milk and stuff. Right. Like messing up people, like the hormones. You know, it's it's why you natural, know, it's natural gear essentially. Yeah, it's literally you're getting H, like human HGH, all sorts of stuff through that stuff. Like the gains, the gains from breast milk. The gains, it's all about the gains. Yeah, I'm just curious. I'm I mean, curious. it's human proteins. It just like clicks into your system. Have you been still steady in the gym since you started your campaign? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the only thing. Wait, I saw you ripped your blazer because yeah, you dude, did I, your tries too hard. Dude, I, I was killing pull-ups. <laughs> so I, I like I in order to maintain focus through all these interviews and everything, like I gotta work out yeah. immediately in the morning. So like I was hitting back, like hitting some pull-ups, <laughs> uh, like really going wide hard. Wide grip. Like wide grip. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Wide super grip. wide, dude. Yeah. Like uh, Well you wanna wide. isolate. Yeah, yeah. I was going like way out. Like we weren't going close grip. Wide You're grip. like here? Farther. How many do you do? I was I was doing ten sets of ten. Ten sets. You're doing a hundred wide grip pull-ups. I was doing ten, no, five sets of ten. Oh, five sets. Five sets of ten. All right. But I was ripping those, and then I was hitting rows, and my back was bulging. (laughs) I was feeling my lats throbbing throughout the day. I'm just like, I got straight up wings right now. You should do like the campaign pictures of like that should be your campaign thing, like Mr. America, and it's you like hit a pose. No, I got. My body fat's way too high. What are you at? Probably around like 13, 14. Ugh. Yeah, you got to cut. It's cut season. I got to cut, but it's hard to cut when you love food. I feel like you squat too much. I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah, squat, bro. How many times a week are you squatting? 
I go once a week, but I go hard as hell. I'm going like 315, <laughs> five by five. And I, I don't go heavier than that nowadays just because like, you know, I got to be a human. I can't like break my back. Are you going, a, you're going ass to grass? Ass to grass. Then I'm going yep. 225 Talk about I it. can't walk. Two, like literally I throw 225, back squat, rip it. I, sometimes I go like past 20 sets and then my legs are just dead and I actually fall. I have to throw the weight off. So you, is your squat rack still in uh, your living room? Uh, now it's in my personal office. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we upgraded. So you squat uh, and then you turn around to give a congressional interview back to yes, the squat rack. Yes. Wait, wasn't uh, your squat rack in your kitchen? It was in my kitchen. And you would just hear Ben Mintz yelling through the uh, wall between no, the that was my No, that was my bedroom. Oh, your bedroom. I would hear Ben Mintz. My white noise was Ben Mintz on the phone uh, talking to people till 2 a.m. And it was actually quite it was quite comforting. It was like, wow. <laughs> well, I didn't even mean, oh, to, I didn't mean to say it. <laughs> I'll miss ribs. Throw the game. <laughs> <laughs> and that would just rock me to sleep. Uh, it was great. Um, but yeah, now it's in my office. So I can actually work out and work at the same time. It's so efficient. Um, so yeah. This next topic for you, Billy. Oh, yeah. Inflation higher than expected in March. We've been seeing this coming. And yep. the worst thing yep. is, is that the Fed let everyone in government know who then leaked it to people in Blackstone. Like, look <laughs> it up. Literally... Fed numbers were leaked to financial institutions before anyone else so they could get a jump on it and they could uh, make the right bets and right investments. And it's it's crazy. Like, you know, inflation is a tax. And I know I'm going into campaign mode. I don't know. We're good. It's over. Let it ride. Fun's over. Um, Literally, inflation is a tax that the government, like, passively puts on us so when they print more money it's literally robbing your savings so not only are they taxing us heavily but they're taking our money by printing more money and devaluing how far our dollar stretches so it like what's going on is fucked so we like literally like inflation is robbing the youth more than anybody else in the country all the debt they stack up in congress the national debt is going to be paid for by us one day and it's going to suck and we need to deal with it now before because it's bad I feel like it's. I feel like we're just never gonna have to pay it back. Like they're just gonna keep raising the debt ceiling. Keep no, when the GDP, uh, when the debt payments surpass the GDP, we're fucked. Did it already do that? No, like if our GDP doesn't grow oh. fast enough. So imagine like maybe our GDP is our revenue, right? We won't be able to pay debt payments. Damn. And then, then we just go to war with China. Yeah. All right. So. Damn. It's. I mean, it's crazy. Like literally, it costs. Like I just wait. What's your plan to reduce inflation? Stop spending. Where can we stop spending? Two hundred thirty-six billion dollars of our are misappropriated in our uh, federal budget. You send it all. Are we sending too much to Ukraine? I'm not saying it's fraud, but we don't know. It's not accounted for. Two hundred thirty-six billion dollars, and I think that's around. I want to say ten percent. That might be wrong, Um, but if you had ten percent of all your money unaccounted for. Like you're not holding yourself accountable. Like we have to hold ourselves financially accountable. Why doesn't Congress? And they're just screwing the next generation who's gonna have to pay for it. And dudes can't buy houses. I'm trying to buy chicks. a house. So I don't. That's facts. Yeah. So I mean, come on. You got you got uh, endorsed by George Santos. Yes. You are you gonna reject sure it or did. keep it? I mean, God. you know, we're a grassroots campaign. We can take all the support we can get. I mean, literally, it's been a long road on this campaign. A lot of campaigning, a lot of feet to the payment. We're hammering the payment. The When's payment. the first debate? There's no debates. There's no debates? Oh, that's Until I will, I will challenge Tom Swazi to a debate. Right here, run down. We'll after hear. the primary. After? Do you need no one's going to debate yeah. before Do the primary. Do you need a certain percent of the vote on the primary? Yeah, we. there's, I think, five guys in the running, and if we – win the primary we could win with like 30 percent of the vote oh, technically shit. so when and when is that uh june 25th if june 25th. you are a registered republican in new york's district three if you're in the new york's district three and want to vote for me in the primary register as republican please and then comes the primary june 25th the so fact that george santos is just out there tweeting wake up Mincy float. I went on Wake Up Mincy because Mincy, as we talked about, is a great friend of mine, and uh, he asked me to come on, and I, I got interviews with the New York Times, New York Post, and I got to organize all of them, so I said, hey, 
Mincy, I hate to do this to you. Email press at BillConnorForCongress.com and I will make sure your number one priority. <laughs> and I did because you follow through. You're a man of your word. Yeah. So then as that was happening, George Santos endorsed me and I was like, what the hell? I was like, have you talked to him like personally? Yes, we interviewed him. No, but like since his endorsement? No. He's probably just trying to smash. Call him out. If we're being honest. I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> He's hilarious, too. If you look at the replies to that tweet, you go past this people. Yeah. <laughs> He's I telling mean... the fuck off. He's calling people. <laughs> I forget what he's calling people, but he is in there. <laughs> Let's check it out. Yeah, we gotta look at these. Oh, my God. Lies and BS. Fuck you, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Billy liked that one. Oh, no. I thought you, uh... What the hell? Yeah. I guess it was just the fuck you, you godless animal that I noticed. But that made me laugh. Fucking Santa. Well, Same we live in a crazy world, and it's crazy we got on the ballot. Hard work pays off. If you donated to the campaign, I want to say thank you because we really stretched the dollar. Uh... The extra mile. I mean, literally, Jose Canseco fight money and Stooley's donations got us on the ballot. So, awesome. when's the next campaign rally or event? Um, we are organizing stuff uh, for when the weather gets a little bit better. I'd uh, love for you guys to come. We're probably going to do Dante the Don has been a soft yes to DJ it. You got the Don? <laughs> yeah. The guy from Brooklyn Mirage? Yes. Wow. Yeah, so uh, we might have some other acts. We're figuring that out now, but it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a free concert. Uh, I don't know if I'm. Don't hold me to this, but I'm trying to figure out if we can make it free beer. Wow. Beer for free beer for a vote. No, no, it's not. It's not for a vote. It's just for you. Just, just, just enjoyment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, enjoyment for the for the campaign. You know. Uh, a politician that can have a beer with. Yeah. Right. I'll shotgun a beer. Have stage. you have you signed a baby yet or anything like that? No. No. A titty. Did he? No. Um, a soon, soon. No. Um, but hey, just if you want to show your sport, BillCotterForCongress.com. That's C O T T E R. I love nothing like it, that we have the no politics rule. You're literally pitching a congressional yeah, campaign on rundown. the rundown. <laughs> which we're fine with. Which we're fine with. Hey. We can do politics if it's our own politics. Do you honestly think you have a shot at winning? At least getting I, to the next level. I just want to make, honestly, a lot of the issues I raise, I just hope that uh, it, brings other, it brings attention to yeah. it. Like, for example, uh, Smithfield Foods, one of the largest food processing yeah. companies in the country. We talk about TikTok being, uh, needing to be divested from Chinese uh, overseas, maybe a foreign actor that's, not, that's hostile to the United States. Smithfield Foods, Smithfield Bacon is owned by China. We got to bring home the bacon. We got to bring home the bacon. Smithfield Bacon's owned by the Chinese. Bring right. home the bacon. Yeah, down. <laughs> now on to Barstool Mini Golf. Uh, Kirk Minahan had a blow up. Frank Tank had several blow ups. Um, Will Compton doesn't have mini golf etiquette. And who are you rooting for to win, Billy? Fights. He's not, he's he's not even close, close right? It, it was last night. Uh, Whitney kind of had like a little. We Excuse fucked me. up a couple times. I think he like bogeyed a couple oh, times. Marty and Francis. I like. I'd love to see Marty. Well, I'm rooting for Frank. I want. Yeah, I would like Shout to see Frank. Marty. Marty had like two huge back-to-back hole in ones last night towards the end. I'd like to see Marty do well. Do it for the New York office. Come on, Marty. Whitney kind of has to win, right? He's going to. He's up six strokes. Yeah, but that can that can change quick. I don't know. He's pretty good. I don't know if he's gonna blow up. I th- Smitty's doing. I didn't know Smitty was a golfer. A mini putt guy. Oh yeah, mini putt Chaps guy. Is doing better than I expected. I don't know. I think this is just about how exactly how I thought the leaderboard would be. Yeah, isn't, you got, isn't Trent all the way at the bottom? Big Daddy? He's down a bit. And this is on to what? Tonight at 6 p.m.? 7. Or, 7, uh, 7. It's after the Masters. Seven, it's after right. the Masters. Oh, I, so I don't even know if, be... the, if it was right. There was like 80,000 people watching last night live. Is that right? Maybe. Sure. I clicked on that. I was like, what the hell? Sure. I mean, it was very entertaining. Make sure you check it out. Shout out to Nick and Jake Marsh, too. They're very funny together. They are. I just heard a thing that Jake Marsh won't talk about, like, anything personal at all. Like, not even, like, his love life, anything, because he thinks he'll screw up his career. He did not like there. Nick's question about when his first kiss was. Yes. That was not it. like that. Oh, yeah. He's been like that forever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he thinks that just he can't run for Congress unless <laughs> he's going to be clean. <laughs> 
Um, and that's the rundown. Thank you guys so much for having us. Uh, hope you have an amazing day.